Take a left at the wheat field Just before the frog pond Follow the tail lights For a country mile Park underneath the pine trees Turn the radio up loud Do a little dirt road Dancing for a while Well Paul, what I was talking about Earlier we were discussing the. Uh, I guess I don't know if it was really a discussion I was just saying what my feelings were And I want to get your input on it Um uh, Concerning the hip hop world, in my opinion, Eminem is absolutely phenomenal. He's untouchable in terms of communication, even though he's talking about killing his mom, right? Sure. I think he's phenomenal. Besides that, I think Snoop Dogg is the Willie Nelson. He's Willie Nelson unique to to rap and, and Tupac. Now Tally, our friend Tally, brought in Dr. Dre, which I love too. Chronic albums, best. I think it's the best. So, I did a lot of dirty dancing to that in frat houses, basements, and things, different things like that. So, uh, what, what do you think about Eminem? You know, I prefer to get my uh, rap music from uh, black folk. You know, I, I appreciate Eminem, and I think he's awesome, and obviously he's an excellent communicator. There's no, make no mistake, he's talking about killing his mom. You know what I mean? There's no guesswork really involved. Right. The guy's awesome. Uh, I just like I I like the Snoop Dogg, the Dr. Dre. I like the West Coast, and I I also like uh, tales of uh, senseless street violence more than a cautionary tale about throwing a baby in a dumpster or whatever. Right. When it comes to rap music. So N.W.A. I love N.W.A. Right. I think they're the Terms. best. They're right. my favorite. Th that's your favorite. Yes. More so than Snoop and Dre. It's hard to put. Yeah, I love Snoop. You know what I mean? But he's amazing. Well. Yeah, yeah, but NWA is the best. They're, they're, I think they're the best. Do you think it was because of their attitude? Like their, the energy and the attitude of the music or the material, the subject matter or what? Well, I think they were the, the first ones. They uh, really brought that production. Like before that, that kind of production was reserved for guys like Michael Jackson and Billy Ocean, not some guy that hung out at the liquor store. All of a sudden, his records sound like some sort of sonic masterpiece is... Uh, and uh, they really, their last album, uh, Ethel for Zagan, they really brought that home. It was almost like watching a movie. Really? Yes. It's my favorite album. Nice. So it is more of a production thing, not just, you, you, you said you like to get it from black folks. So Right. Uh, does it discredit Eminem that he, that he is a Caucasian? Uh, no, I, I just don't, <laughs> this is gonna, I just don't relate with it as much. Because <laughs> you're street hard from Cleveland? That's right. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. I can understand that. Yeah. What about Tupac? What are your thoughts on Tupac? Uh, he was a little preachy. I know I'm going to get some sh uh, some flack for this, but uh, I found him to be a little preachy and up his own ass. And like sometimes he would be the conscious poet, and sometimes he'd be out there starting wars and acting a fool. Right. So I really couldn't identify with him either. Right. I was discussing earlier about, because uh, Turbo had asked me about Biggie, right. Biggie Smalls, and my, my opinion, because I was simply talking about the style and the different, you know, how unique Snoop was, and Eminem's style is, is unique, as, as was too. they were they're identifiable, and that's so hard in that genre to, to be that identifiable. I didn't think that Biggie Smalls was necessarily that identifiable. I felt like he was more, he personified that, what he was, much like Johnny Cash did. His persona was bigger than his songs. Right. That was my take on Biggie Smalls, rather than just his sheer ability to shred. The incredible thing about Biggie uh, is he never wrote down one word. He would just sit there and it all be in his head. He'd get up to the mic. That's why you're not finding 500 records from Biggie coming out, kind of like Tupac, you know what I mean? Right. It's not gonna, you're not going to find his writings. You're not going to find his stuff because it was all up here. The guy was pretty incredible. Uh, but then, again, he's uh, from the East Coast, and, and I like the West Coast. Right. I like songs about hoes and, and gats and stuff. Right. Well, I appreciate you today on uh, Stillwell's Corner. Thanks. See, it's uh, good to be here. It's, uh, it's, it's been a pleasure talking to you. I knew you had a vast knowledge. Not only are you a great country and western bass player, uh, but you have a vast knowledge of the hip-hop world and culture, obviously. Really? Um, 
look where I live, and uh, you're street hard from Cleveland, and you're on a ranch in, in Florida, you know, with your flannel and straw hat. The clean Florida air is burning my Yankee nose. I just don't know what to do. Ladies and gentlemen, please come back and visit me at Stillwell's Corner. We will be back uh, real soon. Y'all go out and buy chicken and biscuits today. Colt Ford is the best white fat rapper in the world. He can spit.